them there trees. Pretty quaint little house, huh? Preserved, but just imagine living over a hundred years ago.
Look at this window still open. It's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> like one window in this place? No, it had two in the front. I'm going in. I'm gonna do what they tell you not to do. screen door yeah look at the character on this thing love it you know, back in the day I used to be a picker it's actually glass huh Back in the day, I used to be a picker. So I got a pretty good idea of what I'm looking at when I see old things. Of course, a place like this is gonna be pretty much ransacked and emptied out. Oh, this is spooky. A couple of sawhorses. How much else? Anyway, that's what it looks like inside. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That's the window I just fit through. Whew. There's the old outhouse. I think I want to take a look at that. Nice. Still got the two seater. Awesome. That's cool. <laughs> side by side. Just in case you ate something, you ate something you shouldn't eat and with the little misses and uh, you'll have to hit it at the same time, you know? That's pretty neat. Anyway, yeah, even though you just saw me crawl on a window. See the two-seater in here? Huh? Check out the two-seater in here, it's pretty slick. Another house? All right, we gotta get going soon here, though. Yeah, so you saw me crawl in the window back there, but I intentionally, I try to you know, respect these places. Some people might have alternative opinions, but, uh, you know, if it, was, if it was boarded off, I wouldn't have messed with it. This, this hose looks pretty re recent. Looks like they were draining. Drain some water out this uh, natural spring. I was told that there's a house up here. Okay. Look at the ground right now. It's beautiful. I love it. Just give me fall and give me spring and I'll be happy. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Check this out. Wow. I'm gonna shut up now and just let you soak it up. Beautiful. So they do. They do say that uh, 
Some of these places still have residents. This one looks a little more modern, so. This is beautiful. A little spring, just keep going. Vicksburg Museum. All right. Look at that beast. Air compressor. They've gotten a little smaller. Hoist. Yeah, you see this all the time, like in those mining sites. It's broken cables. Saw that other site, eh? Mm, maybe not. Love the character of these old buildings. Ooh, that was close to you. Yeah. 
cat, camp robber. Yeah. He, that's the second time he did that. Wants to eat it right out of your hand, probably. Pretty brave. Took too long. They're silly. Old mining carts. Assuming they paint everything to keep it preserved. Look at that wheelbarrow. Groovy. They have a metal wheel. This looks crazy. Check this out. They got a recording. Welcome to the town of Vicksburg. A few prospectors entered this area in 1861. In 18, when Governor John Evans established the La Plata Mining District along Clear Creek. Fueled by more discoveries of silver, the miners began prospecting in earnest in about 1879. Shipments of ore with made from several mines, Eastern and British Isle investors helped to fuel the enterprises. Nominations are required for sustaining, and anyone can join 
for $5 annual dues and be an associate member. The United States Forest Service gave a permit to the Society for the use of the Shepherd's Cabin as a museum. It is set up as a typical miner's home and contains artifacts portraying a typical miner's cabin in the 1880s. Many early day photos are included. That's that. Hard work. Dang it. Donations. Okay. Just walk on through here, I'm assuming. I don't know. That's one of those things that we saw those wheels. That's yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to check that real quick. It's like literal. Medieval technology, practically. A wooden wheel. Tram drum. Fortune mine. <clears throat> Wooden axle. Crazy. The old mode of transportation. That'd be a rough ride. Still have leaf springs back then though. That hasn't changed too much. There's still occupants to this day, I guess. Interesting. I'd just like to live in a ghost town. Dark. And some chairs. Barn supplies. <clears throat> so yeah. I guess that's that. There's Vitzburg. Vicksburg. What it looks like. On to the next mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. adventure. Smiley face. You got a smiley face? Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. I think it was intentional. I think it was. Could have been a fluke. I don't know. This styling old outhouse looks like. It's got some character. Yep. <laughs> Used to spacious. Yeah, it is, I Here's the loo. <laughs> Toilets. East 200 feet. I don't know what that means. Looks like they even had it insulated. That was a good idea. Yeah, dude. In the winter time. Brr. Got some like paper on the walls. Get rid of those giraffes. Those would be deadly. Just pull your drawers down. See some elk activity. They've been going to town on these aspen. There you have it. Oh. All right, off to the next location. I gotta get the hearts. Gotta get the hearts. Get the heart. 
That's pretty good. Yeah. Took some skillage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> has gotta leave their mark on history. Don't they? Everybody's got to leave their mark. River. Could have left it open for campers. Have nice little campgrounds along the river, but can't have that. Right. What I call impediments to freedom. You make it as hard as possible to exercise your freedom. Parks are just like national forest. Just like a little microcosm of how government works, how it uses people. Overgrazing cattle. You gotta keep them in their little pens. Decided to go to Clear Creek Reservoir. And again, it's like a beautiful day. Beautiful 
day. Couldn't ask for better weather. People are enjoying the sandy beach. Fishing for the most part. Slight breeze. So it's gonna be interesting. See how my paddling skills are. It's been a few years since I've been out in the water, but let's find out. Check this out. Vegan jackfruit pulled pork. The key is, with a lot of this vegan stuff, lots of sauce. See all that barbecue? Lots of sauce. Otherwise, not too bad. Not too bad at all.
<laughs> I know. Treacherous waters.
There goes the day. Thought this plaque was interesting. Just above Leadville. Elevation 10,618 feet. There's a little depiction of the lodge. It says, in this valley, the towns of Robinson, Kokomo, and Reeson existed. Kokomo was the site of the highest Masonic lodge in the USA. Corinthian Lodge, number 42, AF and AM, 1882 to 1966. It wasn't too long ago. Now I guess it's just a big empty valley. The site of this uh, melanin mine or whatever it's called, I can't pronounce, but that's that. That mine here again. Malignum. What's he used for? Hardening steel. Yes, in World War II. It was a national priority in World War II. It's the deepest mine. Underground mine in Deepest in the world. In the world. Must be pretty deep. And it was created as a priority during World War II. And it's used to harden steel, right? Mm -hmm. And they use it's it in... Alloy. It's an alloy, and they use it in uh, mechanical parts. Where you need really hard steel, I guess, for high temperatures, I'm assuming. Yes. So I wonder what happened to this valley. It's just abandoned. I think it's part of the mine. Bummer. I wonder if they just filled it all in. Yeah. They just like wiped out the whole. This is there's like three towns down there. Or there was. Anyway. This particular mine was um, Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. Kokomo. Yeah. Kokomo. Yeah. Kokomo. Robinson, Kokomo, and Reeson. Reeson. How do you pronounce that? It's the largest molybdenum. I can't see myself. Where am I? Mine in the world. Oh. Largest. Malignum mine in the world. It's pretty epic. It's pretty amazing. Three quarters? Just at one time. Yeah. You know, bragging rights. These guys are really digging this view for some reason. The giant scopes over here. Anyway, that's interesting. Entering the Eisenhower Tunnel. Okay, I'll do it again.